is regarding Joe Rogan. And this is regarding this video that's obviously gone viral the last couple of days. I'm obviously a bit late in terms of posting it, but I'm trying to update this because it's kind of relating to a post I made or something I spoke about in the podcast. I made a clip about it on my YouTube channel regarding COVID breaking everyone's brains. And I'm adamant that it has. And I think you know there's all these effects of long there's these long COVID effects that are happening now right where people are still feeling shortness of breath they still maybe have have their taste buds back um their sense of smell there are all these kind of you know physiological things that happen to you but i think in terms of mentally in terms of how our brains are wired and our ability to kind of comprehend understand um denounce rational thinking whatever it may be i think that has greatly suffered during covid I think it's fried us in such a way that I think it's never going to be reversed. It's one of those things that just happens and it's just the way we are now. It's a new reality. You know what people were saying early on, earlier on during COVID that was getting on everyone's nerves, myself included, that phrase, the new normal. This is basically the new normal. The new normal is we're going to live in a world where regular people are going to always question whatever scientists say. They're always going to question whatever health authorities say because of this crazy situation we've gone through. They're not going to be very distrusting of the government. They're going to be very distrusting of government mandates and they're just going to be resistant and hesitant um, against any kind of level of control they're just always going to be regardless if it's just or not just it's just the way it is going forward but another thing i think in terms of broken brains is this inability for people on either side of the aisle in terms of being pro-vaccination or being anti-vax where when they're not able or we're not able because i'm good myself you're not able to kind of step away from yourself and also notice that you're doing that thing that everyone hates where you're just trying to where you're ignoring facts that don't kind of agree with your point or you're throwing doubt on them and this is a good example of it this is a tweet courtesy of joe rogan where he's basically tweeting saying if anyone's going to make me look dumb on the podcast i'm glad it's just seps because i love him and he's awesome however this is why i was confused so he still doesn't get it so the whole point of it is i think they were talking about i think what was it i think they were talking about vaccines right let me just get the article actually quickly here i forgot what they took up i've got the clip yeah the thing i talk about this um boys more at risk uh boys more at risk from pfizer jab side effect than covid studies suggest right they're going back and forth on this and joe said something joseph's kind of pushed back and said i don't think that's true Joe then tried to get some proof to back up his point, but then he still argued that he doesn't think it's true. So he wasn't able to kind of, when presented with kind of evidence that kind of counteracted what he was saying, he wasn't willing to change his position, which is something that you would know Joe to be the king of, right? This is part of the reason why I'm such a big fan of his. Like, I love the guy. And I've, I've been listening to the JRE podcast since the maybe high hundreds. Um, he's basically the reason why I've done a podcast myself, right? Like, he's really, really inspirational. Um, obviously, been able to build this amazing, basically, platform where he has the ability to kind of change the careers of his friends and interview some really important people, people that are doing some great work and maybe have have been overlooked whatever right just a great dude and no, no need to basically wax on about that you know he's an amazing dude but there's no denying over the last couple of years especially with covid he's just turned a corner that i don't think he's ever going to turn back from and this is a good example of it it just seems that covid has broken his brain to a point where he can't see how the old joe rogan would cringe a bit at how he's talking regarding covid but you know things happen and you get older you get money and maybe your position on stuff changes fundamentally anyway so maybe this isn't a covid thing maybe this is just where he was always going to end up but i'll play the clip anyway for you of this exchange that joe rogan had with just zips on his podcast or there's an adverse risk associated with the vaccine it's like yes. a two to four fold increase in the instances of myocarditis yes but you know what hospitalization the, you know that there's COVID. an increased risk of myocarditis in among that age cohort from getting COVID as well which exceeds the risk of myocarditis from the vaccine i don't think that's true i don't think it it's is. true i don't no, no no i don't think it's true that there's an increased risk of myocarditis from people catching COVID that are young versus increased risk of myocarditis from the vaccine no there is there's both. Proof. Well, let's look that up because I don't think that's true. <laughs> There's myocarditis is more common after COVID nineteen infection than vaccination. But is this with children? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're talking about young people, men and boys aged under thirty. After this, is what it says here. With with children is the issue. Well, no, we were talking about fifteen year olds. Well, we're talking about young children. Male so, yes, child, twelve to seventeen. Twelve to seventeen, more likely to develop myocarditis within three months of catching COVID at a rate of four fifty cases. Per million infection, this compares to 67 cases of myocarditis per million at the same time following their second dose of Pfizer. 
Yeah, so you're about eight times likelier to get myocarditis from getting COVID than from getting the vaccine. That's interesting. Now, that, that is said, not what I've read before. But also, it's like, when, even when we're reading these things, it's like, what are we getting this from? Is this from well, the VAERS the report? But even from the VAERS reports, when they report this stuff, it's like the amount of people that report, the um, like it's the underreporting. Yeah, you know, he just wasn't having it. It completely makes sense. I get it. Um, when you're st stuck on your point and you just don't want to let it go, it makes maybe some sense. But like I said before, I just think, unfortunately, COVID has broken our brains irreparably. And I think whatever side of the aisle you're on, you're not going to move from that position. It's very unlikely that or some of your anti-vax friends are ever going to get the vaccination. So stop going on at them. It's very unlikely your vaccination friends who are still wiping down their groceries are not going to continue doing it whenever a new variant comes about. It's just the way it is. Unfortunately, this is the kind of um, life we're going to lead because we were ill prepared. And we basically, I think, for the most part, have faced no real adversities in our life. So, you know, especially us that live in the Western world, we've kind of never had to live through anything like this so we were maybe a bit ill prepared for what it would do to our brains let's forget society and obviously jobs and you know people's health and whatnot is obviously bad but in terms of our brains and our, able, and our ability to basically be rational thinkers it went completely out the window during COVID and I just don't think it's ever coming back those are one of the things that's just going to be like one of those sort of um unintended consequences um of covid that we're just going to have to live through and kind of you know make it work basically same similar sort of thing happened with brexit i'm so sure some people vote for brexit with good intentions and now they're in this place where they just have to kind of you know you kind of have to just sit on your side there is no moving away from it now because we are where we are and it is what it is but yeah big up joe rogan in it big up joe rogan